Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of November 2020. All right, Capricorn, you have the Eight of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. What the heck is going on? The Ten of Swords, the Six, oh, I see, the Six of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the star card. Okay. So you guys had me worried there for a minute. I was like, what the heck? Okay. You have the eight of swords. So there is looking or feeling stuck, not being able to move on emotionally from the past. For some of you guys, this could have to do with a person that you dealt with. It could have been an ex-partner, an ex-lover, an ex-husband, an ex-wife, etc. I see you guys being very nostalgic. And I think that this is something that all, you know, all the Capricorns I know have a tendency of going through this around this time of year. And it's like the holidays brings a lot of memories, a lot of things from the past. And I see you guys going into this energy of understanding and knowing, being fully in control of your life um, and where you're at at this point in your life. But I do see you guys really kind of reminiscing and being nostalgic about the past, uh, especially if there was like a major transformation. What I mean by that is it could be if there was, if you were married and there's there was a divorce, um, if you were in a long-term committed relationship and it came to an end, even if it's been two years, even if it's been 10 years, I see you guys really reminiscing a lot about that and being very nostalgic about it. Could have been, you know, fantasizing or looking back at uh, the family dynamic or even when your children were small that type of energy but I don't see it lasting very quickly I feel that this is something that for some of you guys you could be currently dealing with or will be dealing with in the month of November uh, but I do see you guys very much in control you're coming up as the queen of pentacles um, embracing the female energy or the feminine energy being very loving and nurturing for some of you guys this could be again feeling like you're a little bit more emotional than usual and this has a lot to do with the planet alignments that we have right now as well as with pluto's return so pluto is all about you know transformation it's about death it's about a new beginning but it also tabs uh dabs really deep into our subconscious so things that you've been um suppressing or that you haven't wanted to acknowledge at some point in your life is going to start to come up in order for you to acknowledge that or in order for you to uh, take away from the experience that you had in regards to that situation you also do have the queen of uh, water here the queen of cups so for some of you guys you may be dealing with a water energy for others of you you may be dealing with an aquarian for others of you, you may be thinking or fantasizing about a person from the past that was water energy. And you also do have the Ace of Cups here. So here's the thing. What they're telling you here is it's okay for us to be sad. It's okay for us to reminisce about the past. It's okay. That's human nature. But you got to shake it off and don't let it affect you and continue pushing through. Okay? So what I mean by that is there's going to need... Uh, there is going to be a need for you to shift your energy in regards to what you're thinking. I see you guys flourishing in business and finances. I see a lot of opportunities around you. With the, uh, with the star card here, it's almost like people are being drawn to you, perhaps more than usual. And this makes your energy very receptive. So again, in regards to finances and in regards to business, this is ideal. If you guys have been working your asses off and haven't had a raise now is the time to ask for that raise why we have the ten of cups which is emotional fulfillment but it also represents whatever wishes you're wanting to manifest it's going to take for you to do action take action in order to make it happen with the star card 
it is receptive energy. So again, if you've been busting your ass off working really hard and they haven't given you a raise, now is the time to ask for that raise. If you're in a relationship and you're wanting more communication or you're wanting more physical connection, now is the time to bring that up and the partner's not going to be so judgy or judgmental. They're going to embrace that and they're going to be very receptive to that. So again, communication is going to be very good when it comes to relationships. Now, for those of you guys that are single, I do see love around you guys. Again, there may be an Aquarian that is very interested in you, water energy, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, for others of you, uh, it's, it's a new transformation that's happening with you guys in regards to love. So if you've been single for quite a while, and this is something that they've been saying the past three months, I believe, uh, there's major changes that are happening. It's like people are introducing you to other people, uh, friends bringing to you new suitors, people that are definitely interested in you or really feeling you. Um, it's going to take focus for you to actually, you know, give yourself the opportunity of connecting with someone. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I do see a lot of scattered energy. So this could represent just having a lot of options. For others of you, it could represent like finding out that, you know, a, a few people are interested in you that comes to you as a surprise. Um, but again, it's about connecting with people on an emotional level uh, to really get to know them to figure out who the best partner is or who the best suitor is for you. Capricorn. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.